Right, welcome to a new game on the channel, and I'd like to start off by thanking the developers. It is actually, this game is made by two guys. I'm not going to try and pronounce the names. One of them is Philip, spelt with an F, and the other one, I don't want to butcher your name, so I apologise. Now, I did actually contact Philip by email, and he was kind enough to send us a copy of the beta over for... You know creating some content on it so yeah this game is absolutely fantastic you can see i've already started just to get me bearings uh videos don't really do justice when you're trying to do it yourself so yeah what is this game about well this game is about many different things so the key features of this game is manufacturing products build efficient fax factories shape full dynamic terrain which is awesome by the way and have landslides and mountains and everything Mine raw resources, farm your land, research new technologies, construct new vehicles, and explore the world. Now, yes, that is a big list of features, and no surprise, it does come. And no surprise, it fulfills them really well. <laughs> like, for a game in beta, it is really well made. I have to say that. Right, so we're going to start off everything as default. Everything is default. We're going to start captain. Uh, I think I know what I'm doing, so let's get started. Right, welcome, Captain. Captain, we have just docked our ship as the local shipyard. We both will both need repair. Abandoned communication station nearby could be dis deconstructed and used to smelt iron in the blast furnace. It's central to research, build a research lab as soon as possible to figure out blueprints and so on and so forth. We know what we are doing slightly, kind of. So, first things th first, if we go down here to the layers tab we can see all the resources that we are going to need so groundwater uh, not sure if you generally actually have to use that now i don't know um but obviously coal to power your engines we have limestone here which is needed for cement we have sand over there we have iron here we have i think this is different from when I last played. Uh, no, it's not. There's copper there. Oil's there. So let's get started, shall we? We'll just turn that off. Don't need that. Right, so we're just going to pause here. Uh, nope, don't mean that. Pause. Uh, yes, right. First things first, we need a blast furnace, and that is going to start ripping apart this little. Um, yeah, this was further away, over or something. I remember. This is going to start tearing away this facility. So we actually want it to face this way. So materials are going to go in that side. And we're going to have materials output this side. So first of all, we're going to have some CO2. So what we need is a smokestack to get rid of that. We're going to put that here nice and neatly. Now, if you see, if we hover over this, it comes up with two different icons. I'm not clicking anything. It automatically selects which pipe you're going to need, which pipe or conveyor belt you're going to need to build these things, which is absolutely insane. That, how how neat is that feature? Not many games do stuff like that. Right, and for them to work, for actually, we'll get a research lab built ASAP. We'll put it over here by the dock. And that is great. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some metal castings here. We want the molten lava to go in this side. I'm going to space it back a little bit from that other output. We're going to have two. It just makes sense. Well, I think it makes sense. I, I, I don't know about you. And we're going to have a conveyor go to that one and a conveyor go to that one. I really want it to follow the same direction as that one. Thank you. Um, yes, and then what we're going to need here is a coal maker because we are not mining coal yet 
so what we want actually we'll put them here put them here we'll make two of them that's going to make coal for this facility they're going to input wood from what we collect we also will need to get them into the smokestack which we will do um, actually we need to demolish one of them uh, can we demolish down there get rid of that one and we're going to make it so it is on an up, up, up a level a slight up level so what you can do you can press you can press E and it goes up goes up to another height see it's cool isn't it I'm gonna put that there just so cars can get underneath yep and we're gonna go into that one that'll do yeah just so cars can get underneath to to grab that if needs be so then we're gonna to have to start telling them where to d cut down trees so we want all this area this area can just go okay actually we'll just start with a small start with a small area oops for now yeah we'll just start with here so that's going to tell them where to go we're going to get some people on tree harvesting we'll get three on tree harvesting the rest can start building and let's go let's get started shall we you're gonna um, get moving there we go <laughs> Right, here we go. Tutorial logistics. Transport, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all figured that out. Right, we're going to prioritise... Can we already start researching while it's not even built? Now that's strange. <laughs> Is that strange? Hmm. Right, construction. We need to start making these construction parts as soon as possible. And... We need concrete for that. We're getting concrete for that structure, so we we'll want to work towards building concrete ourselves as soon as possible as well. So we're going to add that, and we also will need food. So we're going to remove that from the queue, and we're going to add that to the queue. And then we need... We don't need power yet, do we? Not necessarily... rather go down this route we'll see if that's allowed i think we've got to get all three research is ready yes brilliant so it is researching some stuff awesome right so this is manufacturing coal this is manufacturing nothing because we haven't gotten coal produced yet but they are getting the wood which is perfect that's all we need um oh god uh, what am i looking for here no that's all we can do at the minute that is all we can do so yeah things will start working at some point yeah they've just got no job or anything yet so we'll go back into research we will research power as well Ah, and then we can get the beacon. We do need the beacon just so we can start getting more people towards the um, to our island, so we can um, get more staff. That's that's what I was trying to spit it out, but it wasn't really working. I need to get farms up and running. How far are farms away? I really should have done that first. But we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We'll be fine. I don't think we're getting it. Oh no, we are getting enough wood actually. We don't need any more on wood. Now you can see the smoke staff's going, so that means whatever's connected is working. We are getting coal put in. I don't know. Oh, we're not getting. There we go. We weren't getting metal scraps yet. I hadn't thingied it. 
there we go so it should start removing the metal scraps and putting it in there brilliant and then that'll start producing iron plates which is what we need to make construction parts there we go we've unlocked something the assembly yes we need to get this set up oh you can put the production line straight off yeah you can we'll not do that for now yeah we are going to place that right there yeah you can actually make an output to go straight to these but we can't do that yet because um we don't have the gold construction parts yet this it is complicated and it does take some getting used to we have nowhere to store the wood okay we need some storage I haven't unlocked it yet have we right that's working this is working see now we're going to run out of concrete slabs at some point so we do need to concentrate on trying to get concrete up and running as fast as possible because we need a lot of these oh crap what have I done there we go <laughs> yeah, so what are you researching now basic farming that is fine that is what we need so yeah that's making plates brilliant we have nowhere to put the plate yet storage unit storage yes uh, I'll remove that from the queue as well yeah we need farming vehicles and then the storage actually we could do storage before we need the vehicles yep yeah, that's a good idea this should be a quick one shouldn't take too long but we do need the storage up and running just so we don't have issues right we'll fast forward time a little bit basic farming's at the top there I didn't realize it was actually at the top until this time I started playing Right, we've unlocked basic farming. Let's get a farm set up here. Get one right next to the houses. And we'll actually get another one set up. Oh, that is not right. That is not right. Don't like it. It was not in line. There we go. Right, so then we want this to be... We want to make potatoes, grass, potatoes grass and that's how it was working last time I did a playthrough I'll alternate on that one and that really worked last time I did a playthrough that really worked I started getting a lot of food so that should be fine it should be fine for food for now building construction parts that's what I like to see Cool, cool, everything's going well so far. Things do start getting out of hand pretty quick. <laughs> Have to see. Everything's working as it should. It's actually going better than the last playthrough, if I'm honest. So, trees, what are we still left with? We're still left with quite a lot of trees. Let's skip time. right that is complete we have got that so we can get unit storage now uh, there we go we're going to put some wood in there uh, wood we're going to get another one this one's going to be for construction parts so then that doesn't get backed up and Yeah, that's fine. 
actually doing fine. Cool, awesome. Awesome source. Right, research. We'll start firing up our next load of research. So add that to the queue. Concrete production, yes, important, very important. And then we'll go into actually biodiesel and the beacon. Brilliant. Trading door. I don't think there's any point of this yet, is there? You can actually explore in this. Now this has changed. Um, you can trade, but um, you need to repair your ship. I think. I think that's how that works. So you can see there's grass there to produce manure, and there is potatoes here to produce food. And the food needs. Uh, The food, I think it needs the grass to produce. I'm sure. There's no water on that. It's delayed because there's no water. Okay. Can I supply it with water if I have a water retriever? Yes, I can. Hmm. Didn't know that. Right. Fast forward time again. We'll get some more trees added to this chop list. There we go. Uh, that is getting pretty full. That is getting pretty full. We're getting construction parts pretty fast, but we are running out of concrete slabs also pretty fast. So it's a vicious circle. It's a race against time at the start. It is really. You can actually zoom. Oops. What have I done? Oh no, the, the machine just stopped. Uh, oh, what's happening? These have got nowhere to go. We've got nowhere to store iron plates. Can we store them in here? Oh no, no, no. Um, I don't th know if we can store iron plates in here. Yes, we can. Get one then built up then. Right, mining. Yes, complete. This is what we need. I'm going to start mining coal. Uh, actually, first of all, we need to build a vehicle depot. Gonna put that right there. Gonna put mining control tower here, which will control mining of coal. And we're gonna put one over here, which is gonna get us the iron. Gonna prioritize this. And we want excavator. Ooh, we can speed it up. Oh, wow. And then we'll get another couple of cars. And another excavator. So that should be getting built because I've used some unity to speed it up. That's awesome. Uh, we'll put the cars in after. I think. That's just speed up the delivery of the, of the parts. Yeah, that's all it did. Right, and then what we want to do here, we want to set up a mining mining site we're going to make it flat we don't want um we don't want to unlevel this we're going to have it flat we're going to take out that and then dump all the unwanted parts there i don't know if that'll work actually let's have it flat Dump all the unwanted parts there. And we're going to have this. Uh, 
We'll choose the excavator, what it wants to collect. It wants to collect coal. How are these looking on... Oh, we're running out of construction parts, really? Oh yeah, because we've been building things. It's probably just explaining things, why that's happening. Right, we've got our first uh, excavator. That's brilliant. Going to put that over here by the coal. And we're going to assign a truck to here as well. Once we start mining both, we can set this to the, um, use coal and iron rather than the man-made coal from logs. Right, we want to mine coal priority, please. So there we go, it's going to start destroying the landscape, which is pretty incredible. Look at that, see? What did it pick up there? Coal. It picked up coal. Nice. Got nowhere to put your logs. Alright, well, that's tough, isn't it? <laughs> I think we're also going to need one. Oh no, we can't yet. We need a loose. Let me show you. A loose. Is it in there? Might be a loose container. There, a loose storage container to be able to store coal and stuff. Which. Yeah. Uh, also, we need to start getting up there to cement production because we need to start making cement. So we are going to add that to the queue. We're going to add that to the queue. Yeah, things are getting hectic. We might get another... I think it might pay us to get another research lab. Fuel supply is low. Oh, God. It is watering now, though. I think I'm going to swap these round like that. Have it the same as that field. That might work. Yes, that gives us fertility. Yes, so it's good to rotate them. Yep, yep, yep. Got it, got it. Right, we have our other excavator. Es excavator. We're going to sign that one. We haven't set up the mining area here yet, have we? We're going to have it go like that. We'll have a dumping area here. Doesn't need to be massive. And we'll assign a car. Power and maintenance, brilliant. Uh, we're going to get you to priority, prioritize iron. Thank you very much. There we go. So we've got the basic fundamentals on the way. Uh, we need a maintenance step O. which distributes to all machines, buildings and vehicles that need it. Important as if there's not enough maintenance vehicles and this can break down temporarily. So, it is going to be worth making one. But it's also going to be hard to do as we need iron and copper actually actually cancel cancel it we need iron and copper we don't have copper yet I mean we do oh actually uh, yeah we will we will do it 
Yeah, we'll do it. Come on, these need to start producing food. Those people are going to starve. You've got nowhere to put your coal. I know, I know. I'm sorry, friend. You've got nowhere to put your iron. I know. I'm, I, I apologise. Can they put the raw materials in here? I don't think so. No, they can't. They really can't, I don't think. Which one's empty? You're empty. Let's have a look. No, they can't put the raw materials in. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, we are just waiting for construction parts to finish researching and then we'll move on. But yeah, thank you very much for joining us on this one. If you want to see more of this, do let us know and leave us a like in, in the comments. And uh, yeah, it is, it is a fantastic little game and I enjoy playing it. So, if you want to see more, let me know.